Look at this boring Windows screensaver and now look at this. Most people don't know you can transform it into something this incredible. In the next few minutes, I will show you exactly how I did it and trust me, it's way easier than you think. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. First of all, what you will have to do is to open web browser. Here I'm using Zen browser because many of you guys have been asking in the comments. So this is the Zen browser, which is Firefox fork, by the way, and I will leave its link in the video description below, right below the like button, by the way. Now, once you are on your web browser, search for the rain meter, then click on the first link, which is rainmeter.net. And once you are here on the first page, click on the blue download button. This should get you the dot exe file for the rain meter and once you have it you can simply go to your file explorer inside the downloads folder and double left click on the installer click on ok and then simply install the rain meter program once you have the rain meter up and running you should see a few of the pre-installed skins simply right click on every single one of them and click on unload skin which is the last option and you should also see the rain meter icon down below in the system tray you can also put it next to the Windows Defender icon, for example. Now, once you have the rain meter up and running, go back to your web browser or pause the video and go to this video description and search for Jack's core. Now, make sure to navigate to the GitHub page and I will also put this link for the GitHub page in the video description below. Now, once you are here, click here on the releases on the right side of the website and here click on this file, which ends with dot rm skin click on it and you should get this file make sure that you have rain meter up and running because if you don't you won't be able to install this skin on your computer so simply double left click on it while you have the rain meter up and running click on install and i'll wait for it to finish now, when this is pretty much done, you can simply click down below to skip the tutorial. And now you have successfully installed the Jaxcore skin. Now what you will have to do is to navigate here down below to the library. And on the left, you will find modules. And here you have to click on the idle style. Now here you can see that I don't have this widget installed. So here what you will have to do is to click on this green arrow. By the way, guys, if you guys are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack and you guys can check them out in the video description below. Now, once you have the idle style installed, you should see here the message installed and you can activate it by toggling this option on. And here you should get the message that this will turn on the idle style after five minutes of inactivity. Now you can also preview the idle style or the skin by just clicking on Windows and K key on your keyboard. And this is what it looks like. You have the clock, we have the spinning logo, as well as the idle for how many seconds, minutes or hours. So this is what the lock screen or the screensaver at the moment looks like. However, we can also customize it to your needs. Simply go here to the animation and here you will find some of the pre-installed appearance options. First, let me show you this second one, which I thing looks very cool so click on the windows plus key shortcut on your keyboard and this is what this screensaver looks like we can also go further and click on let's say this one and this is what this one looks like i think this is the best one among all of them however here are a few more styles you can choose from for example you can click on this one right here and this is what this one looks like we have this clock under the diagonal and now we also have the last option which is this one right here. So this is a pretty simple one blurred background with the clock at the middle. So yeah, I think it looks very, very cool. Here down below, you can also add your own videos or even your own image if you prefer it. So and here you will have to click on the last option, for example, and then you will have to go to the appearance and change the image here. So for the last option here where you have the image or video, you'll have to provide the image or the video yourself. So here 
here what you will have to do for example you can go to the unsplash and here under the wallpaper category you can simply pick whatever image you like i think i will go with this one right here and on the right here you can download it just like this and then click on ok now navigate back to the appearance and you can change here the default paper to your own image which i got from the unsplash now let me show you how this looks like so here we have the clock at the middle as well as the power percentage here at the bottom so i think it looks very very cool and then down below you can also change the background color change the shadow or glow color and text size as well now you can pretty much also go here to the animation once more and let me show you how you can also customize for example one of the presets for example we can go with this third one which i think looks very nice we can go here under the appearance and change the image to something else as well for example i will go here to wallpaper path change this to the unsplash image and then you can also change the font face which is currently here selected to poppins but for example you can go with Arial as well click on enter and then you can change the text color and the background color as well and you can also mask the background with the image so here if i click on activate to preview the idle style this is what this one looks like however you can also change the text color here as well as the background color as well and for example if we go with this first style you can also change here the logo for your one as well for example here we currently have set to jack's core logo which is by default however if you have your own logo you can also put it right here as well and i think it looks very very nice now these are pretty much the same settings and the customization options of this screensaver widget now let's say if you don't want to use it anymore i will also show you how you can simply uninstall it as well so make sure that you deactivate it here on the top and now you can close this window now you can go here to the system tray and here you will find the rain meter now here what you will have to do is simply turn off the rain meter by right clicking on the icon and click on exit right here so you don't have the rain meter up and running in the background now once you've done that you can simply navigate here to the system settings click on the apps here and installed apps here you will search for the rain meter which is right here click on the three dots next to it and click on the uninstall click on uninstall and then on the admin prompt click yes now here make sure to you check this option if you want to remove the skins as well so completely remove all personal settings and files simply turn this toggle on and then click on uninstall click on close and now you've successfully uninstalled the screensaver as well as the rain meter so I think this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave every single file linked below in the video description. Like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel as well. And if you need a brand new wallpaper, you guys can check them out in the video description below. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video. Peace.